What's going on, guys? I'm checking the emails here, and I'm still getting a lot of emails regarding the business planning webinar. So you guys that missed it, make sure you check this video out here. This was one crucial component that I talked about in the business planning webinar. And also, if you guys want me to do another business plan webinar, let me know. Make sure you drop a comment, DM. And by the way, guys, make sure you have a great, happy Memorial Day. But here's what you really need to know if you already knew that. The contacts, again, the contacts you need and the people that you need to know. Here we go, guys. I'm starting from the bottom and working the way to the top. First people you need to know and have relationships with is the dispatchers, guys. This is one of the most important things right here. So make sure you get this. Guys, these are the relationships that I keep talking about. Dispatchers, guys. Be cool with these people, man. Try to build a relationship with them. Okay, now they're going to be your first point of contact more than likely, but those are the guys that are dispatching trucks, whether you're working for a supplier, whether you work for a contractor, whatever contract it may be, they may have a dispatcher. Now they don't have a dispatcher, okay, and you got your own job and you're working directly with the GC, they're going to have what's called a job site for them. That's the second relationship right there. You need to make job site for because they're the ones that are probably going to be calling you and asking for your services. These are the people that you really want to be like, ready? Next one, job site superintendent, okay? After a four minute, you have a job site superintendent, right? He's the guy that's in control of all the job sites that that company may have. So do you think it's crucial to have a good relationship with that guy or that lady? Of course, right? Of course. Following that, guys, you have a project manager. I've done videos on this, but you might have seen those videos. And if you haven't, you need to. Project managers, guys. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to touch on this group, okay? Because I have so much more info to cover. You need to hear it, okay? Guys, product managers have made me, honestly, I couldn't tell you how much money I've made just by having those connections with project managers, okay? Let me tell you, there's been people in the office that want to hire, I don't know, uh, AEC Trucking because AEC Trucking might have gave them a, 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 a better rate than they had seen each other, right? But you know why they hired Jay Mancini Trucking? Because that project manager is telling that guy in the office, man, uh, I know that uh, ABC Trucking was a dollar cheaper or two dollars cheaper, whatever the case may be. But man, Jay Mancini Trucking, he delivers. When I call him for trucks and I say I need 10 trucks, 10 trucks are there at 7 a.m. Or if I say I just need one truck, one truck is there at 7 a.m. If I get in a bind, I didn't ask for any trucks. And it's 10 o'clock in the morning, and Jay Van C, I call him, I say, hey, man, is there any way it's possible you can have a truck with me today? I know it's a last-minute thing. Guess who but? More than likely, Jay Van C will deliver and send in truck, right? So just giving you a few of the, I can give you tons of examples, okay? Project matters. Key relationship. Then you have an estimator, just as important. An estimator. What's an estimator, Jerry? What are you talking about here? Estimator is the guy that's, Working inside that construction company at the office, he's the guy that approves your checks. He's the guy that approves your rates. Sometimes it's a project manager, but if it's not the project manager, it's only one other guy. It's the estimate. Okay? Key relationships. And last but not least, you want to build a way of working with the owners of the company. You need to eventually know the owners of the company because you're a partner. You've got the provider that was there. You're their partner, right? So owners of the company, you need to one day be able to know them, shake their hand, have a conversation with them, and know them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Because once you get to that and other guys, the rest is history.